Valhalla is a beautiful place by Paul Rudnick, who I think may be the funniest playwright in America today. It's a very funny play, but I also find it very moving. It's bold, it's theatrically imaginative, it has a very broad scope to it. All, all of these things uh, attract me to it. It's the kind of play that I think there should be more productions of in Atlanta today. Paul is a very large-scale play in many ways. It has many different characters. There's six actors who play many different characters. There's lots of costumes. Uh, there's uh, a couple of dance numbers. There are many sound cues. Uh, there's a lot of th things in the play that have to do with opera, uh, particularly the music of Richard Wagner. So there's a lot of music in the play. There's a lot of uh, uh, visual elements in the play, all of which make it a challenge for a, a small-scale theater like the Essential Theater to produce, but we're having a lot of fun with that. When I first read the script, one of the things that really struck me about the two separate storylines that are never really entirely separate, um, they're not connected necessarily in terms of plot, but by emotion. We have a tendency... Um, it takes a long time before we realize the brilliance of someone who wants to innovate. And I think that's true for Ludwig uh, in his time in Bavaria, and I think that's true for James in Texas in the 40s. Valhalla is about the search for beauty in life. The characters in the play uh, spend a lot of time talking about beautiful people and beautiful things, but it evolves throughout the play until they realize that what they're really searching for is the essential beauty in life the beauty that God intends to be in life. Playing this um, many characters is probably one of the biggest challenges I've ever had as an actor. Um, I've had roles where I've played two characters, but having to play five in the same show, run off stage, run back on stage in a completely different costume is, uh, is a real challenge to not only just be somebody else, but convince the audience that you're a completely different person. Valhalla, the home of the gods, uh, is the most beautiful place on earth, and that symbolizes what they're looking for. All of this may make the play sound ponderous. It's incredibly funny. It's a very, very funny play. It's about, I think, searches that all of us feel, looking for the eternal in life and looking for the beautiful elements. Great cast. There are so many great, fun characters. Lots of twists and turns, some really fun surprises. And trust me, darlings, you are not going to want to miss well, all it. All is about Ludwig the mad king of Bavaria. He's a real figure from uh, 19th century European history. He uh, was obsessed with opera and he bankrupted his country building beautiful fairy tale castles that are still quite popular tourist attractions today. He was deposed. Uh, he was declared insane and he was deposed by his kingdom, but he's still a very widely known figure, um, an eccentric figure in history. Uh, Valhalla is about both Ludwig uh, and a couple of uh, teenage boys from 1940s Texas, they're gay, they're trying to find their way in the world, they're trying to find their way out of the small Texas town. It's hard to explain how their stories and Ludwig's story mix together, but I think they do wonderfully well. <laughs> play to me. It mixes elements in a way that in the rules according to playwriting class you shouldn't be able to do and he pulls them off. I'm especially attracted to plays like this, to, to playwrights who do what you're not supposed to be able to do. Humor in the script really is what caught me for it. I, I really like the way that Paul Rudnick writes. My character, I'm, uh, I play James Avery throughout the entire thing. I don't switch and play any other characters. Valhalla has a cast of six actors who play many, many different parts. There's multiple costume changes. So while it's a very large-scale play, it's a comparatively small cast. Um, we've got a great group of actors, multi-talented. Uh, they're able to play the range from uh, very silly humor to uh, powerful My drama. My name is Kate Graham. I play Sally Mortimer, 
and Princess Sophie, the humpback princess of Austria. And I play the inbred Princess Patricia. And I play Annie Avery. And I also play Marie Antoinette. And what excited me most about this play actually was the opportunity to play so many different characters because usually, you know, you really only get to sink your teeth into one person's psyche and into one line of behavior or something. And in this, the two main characters that I play, Sally and Sophie, are so drastically different, even though in some ways they represent the same thing in the two different time periods. Um, so it's really a stretch for me as an actor to get to play all these different people, but it's also fun because I get to share all those different sides of myself with the cast and with the audience. The army of I was attracted to the role because Henry Lee is a character who is trying to do the right thing. He, he wants to do the right thing, but in doing so, he is repressing his true feelings. And to me, the two characters, the two Texans, James and Henry Lee, represent the two sides. The two represent the two sides of Ludwig: um, what he's supposed to do and what he wants to do. It's about being willing to go mad in order to create beauty, which is something if you're working in the arts, I, I think you can probably relate to, and I think uh, uh, many people in life can relate to that. If you want me to have her, if you want me to be happy, I'm not sure if you can speak, I'm not even sure if you are feet, but if your answer is yes, give me a sign. A miracle, begging you. Please, 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 please. You watch a filthy mouth. This is the third time I've had to go to the police station. The third time I've had to growl and apologize. The third time I have had to live in shame because my son is a filthy disgrace. I know that deep down inside you really are a very good, very sweet little boy. I'm a cocksucker. Well, that's fine. I'm a Baptist. What do you want more than anything else in the whole entire world? I make my parents, my teachers, and everyone today to know really proud of <laughs> I love that. You do? Let's see, you don't want to be an asshole? So then you got to be 14 years old. And I come to you in desperate need in order to speak to you most purely. I am dressed in the habit of your most sainted and elegant creatures. And in order to purify myself completely, for the last two weeks I have fasted. I have taken absolutely no sustenance. Except you had a full program of rigorous exercise. But why? You're 16 years old now. show um, because it has to be seen to be, be believed. Marie Antoinette swing dances and um, every actor in the show wears like 50 wigs and a million costumes and you'll laugh, you'll cry, it's better than cats. I wear a dress so for nothing else you've got to come and see that. <laughs>